I'm Shada Singh in Sydney and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, the Greater Victoria Art Gallery looks for a new location, a new cookbook with local chefs, and wasting food. All that and much more coming up on Go Island. Okay, ladies, it's November, and that means Movember's here where all the guys uh, grow out their stashes. But how can we help? I don't think if women grew out their mustaches, that would be a really great idea. So why not wax it and um, raise money at the same time? And that's exactly what the Haven Spa is doing. Absolutely. We, um, we're encouraging women to... Uh take it off for their <laughs> men. Uh, we're doing a waxathon mm -hmm. on Thursday, and that's from four till eight. So we're encouraging all the women to come down. Uh, we're, we've got about uh, six or seven of our estheticians who are gonna be taking it off for the ladies yeah. with all the proceeds going to Movember. But you don't only have, you know, the stashes. You have men who can come in for the back hair. That's important. Absolutely, the yeah. back, the chest. <laughs> uh, we're also doing, um, you know, arms, yeah. legs, eyebrows, uh, lips, bikinis. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way for, for, as you said, for women to support the cause. Exactly. Now why do this? Why get involved? Well, you know, for the past probably about three or four years, all of our male staff here at the hotel, uh, the guys in the kitchen and the front desk and housekeeping administration, they've all been participating in Movember. Mm -hmm. um, and along with that, our husbands and brothers and cousins and friends and boyfriends have as well. So um, we thought it was a good way for the women to participate and support them. Now, it's almost mid-November. Um, How are they doing so far, the guys? You know what, I think it's kind of how you look at it. I think from their perspective, they're doing really well, but I think from our perspective, um, you know, there's, we're, we're really proud of them, but there's not a lot of guys who can really, really rock the mustache. Yeah. But I think here at the Sydney Pier Hotel, we, we, do have a, we do have a lot of guys who are looking pretty good with their mustaches. Yeah, and once they take it off, they'll look even better. Exactly, <laughs> when December 1st rolls around, I think there's a lot of happy women in Victoria, actually. Yeah, and so if people wanted more information about the wax thon, what do you know? You know what, they can go um, to our website, mm -hmm. um, www.sydneypier.com um, backslash Haven Spa. Mm -hmm. uh, they can give us a call anytime. Um, we're also on Facebook. Um, but really, we just encourage everybody to come down on the 13th from 4 to 8 and uh, take it off for the guys in your life. Mm -hmm. You probably, you know, if you need it, this is the perfect time because you're donating and getting some work done. Absolutely. Yeah. Important work. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. That was great. All right. To our first story, to move or to stay, that's the question the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria is tossing around when it comes to their location. Jen Moranitz finds out more behind this dilemma and which side the gallery is favoring. There is a new cookbook out that celebrates local food and local chefs, but can the average person take on these recipes? Well, Karen Elgersma put the recipes to the test. Flavors of the West Coast is available in your local bookstore. When we come back, we meet some women who are building homes up island. And I haven't had the pleasure of doing demolition. My first day on the site, I arrived to get some of the nails out. You needed to use this thing called a reciprocating saw. <laughs> and Christy looked at me and she goes, do you want to run that thing? Welcome back to Go Island. Our next story gives us a bit of an insight into a group of women who've come together, rolled up their sleeves, picked up the tools, and it's all for a good cause. Mark Hanley has more. Woman power, you gotta love it. I'm all for that. We're gonna take a quick break now. When we come back, how often do you waste food? That's the question Dan Kahn is asking you. A new study from Ontario suggests that Canadians waste $27 billion in food. Welcome back to Go Island. We're all guilty of it. You buy too much, you throw it away. You can't eat it, you throw it away. And it goes bad in your fridge and you throw it away some more. Well, Dan Kahn wanted to ask you, how much food do you waste? So I don't, I don't like wasting food. I actually feel really bad. My mom actually used to make us eat everything on our plates and she used to be like, you know, there's children dying around the world and you're gonna waste food. So we had to sit there for hours before we ate. So um, before we finished our plate. So how about you, do you waste food? Uh, no, I just wrap it up and bring it home for Davis to eat. That's my stepson. He eats everything. We call him Dyson. 
after the Hoover the after the vacuum. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. All right, what's up with our big ticket events? We got Beatle Show. It's happening. It's on the island. It's back by popular demand, and it's all the way from Vegas. They're playing November 14th at the Port Theater in Nanaimo, and then November 15th at the McPherson Playhouse in Victoria. Did you ever listen to Beatles music? Um, yeah. Some. Some. My parents did for sure. Yeah. Oh, well, they're iconic yeah. rock figures. Who doesn't know all of their songs? I'm, exactly. Yeah, so they're you good. Relive it. Relive it. It'll yeah. be fun. And I want to talk about Canadian indie rock band Mother Mother. And they're from, they originated on... Quadra Island. <laughs> Quadra Island. <laughs> Quadra Island. And now living in Vancouver. They're celebrating their new hit single, Bit by Bit, and they're doing an island tour. They're going to start off December 13th at the Royal Theatre in Victoria, then December 15th, the Cowichan Theatre in Duncan, December 16th, the Port Theatre in Nanaimo, and finishing up the island tour December 17th at the Tidemark Theatre in Campbell River. Wow, they're going like all over the place. Yeah, I like the small venues too. That's nice. Always my favorite. Mm -hmm. And we got some new music releases. I know Marcy's excited about this one. Kid Rock, Rebel Soul, in stores and online November the 19th, and Rage Against the Machine 20, so it's the Roman numerals X, marks their 20th anniversary of their debut album and includes two newly mastered CDs and DVDs with never seen before footage. It's gonna be epic. I love Rage Against the Machine. I, I hope they tour, because I haven't seen them live yet. I like how you rhyme that, Tuli Newly. Truly newly. <laughs> newly. Tuli. Tuli newly? It. I'd rhyme anything. <laughs> okay, so did you see Scarlett Johansson's new tattoo? So she shows me this tattoo, and <laughs> what did you think about it? Um, I think I can do that. I could do it. You could do the, you could, could do the I tattoo. Could, I could do that tattoo. Mm -hmm. I think almost identical. I could do that tattoo. I, I know art is personal, but tattoos are forever. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely look it up. It was a tattoo artist. Would you say that's Fuzzy or Fuzzy? I can't even pronounce his last name. He used to be a graffiti artist, and all of his artwork is very, um, how would you say, childlike? <laughs> I could do it, and I'm not a good artist. <laughs> Look him up, man. You tell me your thoughts, because I really want to know. Yeah. I really yeah. want to know. Yeah. That, that's the worst thing I've ever exactly. seen. Exactly. And um, yeah, so tweet at us, let us know what you thought about it, or go on Facebook, let us know. You can go on the scene, or you can go on Go Island, and uh, I'm sure Kim will let you know what she thinks about it. <laughs> Don't forget, we are at Go Island South on Twitter. We are facebook.com slash Go Island South. Email us your ideas, um, you know, story ideas, suggestions, whatever you want. We are go underscore island south at shaw.ca. And I just want to say happy Diwali to all the people celebrating. Um, it is Diwali. I'm, I'll be celebrating. You know, it's time to light, light up the home. So happy Diwali to all of you out there who are celebrating. And we will see you next time.